geography industries economic activity there are four types of economic activities namely primary secondary tertiary and quaternary classification manufacturing involves various stages of production industries are classified in several ways see the flow chart below for the three main bases of classification Many factors influence the location of industries the major ones being the availability of markets government policy transport labor and energy regions the four major industrial regions or complexes in the world are the eastern part of the USA western eastern and central europe and east asia The six main industrial zones in India are seen in map 1. Distribution. Many factors like cooperation between nations and private sector etc influence the distribution of industries. Study index to map 2 carefully in this respect. textiles textiles fibers can be divided into three types wool silk and cotton linen jute and asbestos a fire proof curtain mineral fiber in addition there are man made synthetic fibers like nylon polyester acryl and rain cotton textiles and blends When man-made and natural fibers are mixed, blended fabrics are obtained. India is one of the pioneer of cotton textiles. Initially, the cotton textile industry flourished in Maharashtra and Gujarat, but now it is distributed almost all over India with nearly 1600 mills throughout India. India's main competition comes from China, Japan, Bangladesh and Egypt. Europe USA and Russia are the other main producers of cotton textiles. Iron, steel and automobile
iron and steel. Iron and steel is the major mineral based industry. It is also a basic industry as iron and steel form the base of all modern industries. Integrated plants. The basic raw material of the iron and steel industry is iron ore, which is very heavy by nature. It has to be transported to blast furnace for smelting and it goes through various stages before finished steel is obtained. Refer flow chart below the diagrammatic depiction. All the stages of manufacture of steel are performed in integrated steel plants to save on cost, time and the effort that is involved. Distribution Apart from securing raw materials and the different stages of production, the iron and steel industry is a high investment industry. So, until now it was concentrated in advanced countries. Presently, China is the world's leading producer of iron and steel producing about 350 million metric tons. The inset bar diagram below shows the leading world producers of iron and steel. Automobiles The automobile industry, which includes road and railway automotives, is almost completely dependent on steel. Therefore, steel is the major component of this industry. As a result, the automobile industry are usually located near to iron and steel industries. The important steel centers in the world where automobile industries are located include Detroit in the USA and Jamshedpur in India. See map 2 for the other important steel centers. India has presently 10 integrated iron and steel plants. In India, steel production which was about 1 million ton has risen to about 32.5 million tons in 2004 to 2005. Integrated Steel Plants Tata Iron and Steel Company Jamshedpur, Jharkhand, 1907 with subsidiary steel works at Gopalpur, Orissa Indian Iron and Steel Company Burnpur, West Bengal, 1870 Visveshwarya Iron and Steel Limited Badravadi, Karnataka, 1923 Bilai Steel Plant Chhattisgarh Russian Collaboration, 1959 Rorkela Steel Plant, Urissa German Collaboration Durgapur Steel Plant, West Bengal British Collaboration, Pakaro Steel Plant, Jharkhand Russian Collaboration, 1972 Salem Steel Plant, Tamil Nadu Vishakapatnam Steel Plant, Andhra Pradesh Vijaynagar Steel Plant, Karnataka High-Tech Industries Technology and Industrial Parks A technology and industrial park is a cluster of separate buildings together so that the use of inputs is facilitated and also skilled labor 
is available at cheaper cost. These need services of both highly skilled and ordinary labor. In technologically developed countries, both these types of labors are expensive. So the developed countries get many types of assembly jobs or those involving high-end use like communications, loan processing, medical field, BPO, etc. from the developing countries. This process is known as outsourcing. Multiplier effect Because of outsourcing jobs from the developed countries to the developing countries, industries such as business process outsourcing, BPO, and knowledge process outsourcing, KPO, have come up in large numbers. These industries complement the growth of other industries like automobiles, petrochemicals, reality, electronics, and many others. Some technology parks also have satellite earth stations. Sustainable Growth Recently, this sector has shown great resilience against the global recession of 2008 to 2009. Countries like China, India, Brazil, etc. have shown tremendous growth in this sector. India itself has registered growth between 5% and 20%. Map 2 shows the global outsourcing destination and the originating countries. It can be seen from the map that South America, Africa, Europe and Asia presently are dotted with high-tech industries with global websites. In India, revenues from software and services exports are expected to touch the $50 billion mark in the financial year 2008-2009. Map High-tech industry includes both the service industry and also the manufacturing industry. High-tech manufacturing industries include aircraft, pharmaceutical, communication and biotechnology industries, which are growing rapidly, thereby enhancing global economic growth. Today, the service industry is further expanding to include ecotourism, health and hospitality sectors.